Users are watching a lot of video over LTE networks and they expect good experience anywhere, anytime. So what can operators do to not only anticipate the rise of mobile video, but also begin to monetize their video traffic? We're here in Shenzhen at Huawei's global headquarters, where we caught up with executives from the company's MBB business consulting department, LTE FDD product line, and OSS and inventory wireless groups to find the answer. I'm here with Zhang Xing, Huawei's head of global mobile business consulting. Zhang Xing, thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Zhang Xing, we've noticed that almost every mobile network operator is talking about video. What kind of benefits can these network operators expect by offering mobile video? Okay, this is a very good question. Uh, uh, first, uh, I want to say, uh, if you look at global traffic, at this moment, uh, mobile uh, video traffic may be a 30 to 40 percentage, but the next three to five years, the mobile traffic will occupy 70% uh, of the total traffic. So, uh, today we uh, call the data monetization, but I think uh, maybe three years later, we need to do uh, video monetization for mobile operator. So this is the first uh, uh, benefit. The second benefit is uh, we have a research for global operator, the LT data package. 50% of the data package cannot use out. So that means operator need to have a service can help consumer use the data traffic. So this is the second video can bring the value to mobile operator. And the third one, uh, if we look at uh, before, uh, voice, SMS is a basic service for mobile operator. But I think for next three years, video will be a basic service for mobile operator. Operator can earn some additional revenue from video service. What's your advice for network operators who want to improve their video strategy? For mobile operator, maybe have three uh, uh, strategies. The first one, they can cooperate with OTT, uh, provide the OTT content to uh, mobile uh, end users. So this is the first one. The second strategy is uh, they can use the LT uh, broadcasting capability. Uh, for example, we cooperate with uh, China Telecom in Jiangsu, provide the LTE broadcasting in China, and we cooperate with uh, uh, UKE in UK, uh, provide the LT uh, and BBC, uh, broadcasting the BBC content in Glasgow uh, uh, game uh, in, in UK. The last one is because so many uh, operators have the fixed content, uh, traditional, they provide the fixed IPTV in home market operator can launch the uh, fixed mobile, the same experience for end user. Zhang Xing, thank you so much for your time. Hi, I'm here with Zhang Wangcheng, president of Huawei's OSS wireless product line. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Research shows that in 4G LTE markets, people are watching much more HD video. How does that affect network planning? You know, uh, over the next five years, the mobile video business will grow very, very rapidly by up to maybe 13 times. Uh, the pipe must be bigger in LTE network worldwide. The video traffic is about 10% higher. So it shows that the first network boosts overall video consumption. It seems that users have an expectation to have a good experience all the time. So how do network operators achieve that goal? Uh, you know, uh, user experience is more important to growth than content. The research indicates that nearly 80% of subscriber loss is the result of bad user experience. On the other hand, good experience will attract new users, promote new services, and encourage new user behavior. So it uh, um, boils down to accurate planning based on the right prediction. So what specific solutions is Huawei offering to address some of these challenges? Yeah, you know, Huawei, uh, we uh, can provide the, the right uh, tools and solutions to give the, the, the right uh, analysis for the network traffic and uh, based on the, the right uh, prediction and then to make the, the right uh, network planning for the operator. And now we have already started our 
uh, the video planning trial in China Unicom Guangdong province and in the Zen uh, Saudi Arabia. You know, uh, these two cases I think will be finished in May this year. Zhang Wenchang, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Wang and we're talking about mobile video services. Mr. Wang, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. In the mobile market, mobile video is the fastest growing service. Can you talk about some of the challenges the rollout of these video services introduced to 4G deployment? There are mainly three challenges to support video service. The first one is the higher speed or wide path to deliver HD, 4HD or even 4K HD video. The second is the low latency to decrease buffering time. The third is the most important thing is about the 4G network coverage to make HD video available anywhere, anytime. Operators define 5 Mbps or even 10 Mbps anywhere, anytime as the creation of 4G network deployment. Operators have to solve the problems you just mentioned. Can you give some suggestions on how they might do that? Huawei meets the challenge in three ways. The first one is Huawei keeps on boosting the data rate by supporting aggregation of multiple carry and introducing unlicensed spectrum. For instance, Huawei is the first to commercialize the 2CC carry aggregation, 3CC carry aggregation. Also, Huawei is the first to support FDD plus TDD 4CC carry aggregation. The second is Huawei provides various end-to-end -end video organization solutions. For example, we can use cloud platform based WSE. WSE means Valley Service Engine to deploy video cast in either one side to reduce video delivery latency. The third is Huawei provides various types of base station for different scenarios, such as dense urban areas, commercial streets, large stadiums, high speed railways and metro stations. With more, Huawei intelligent Inter-site interference correlation technologies can greatly boost the speed in series to make 5 Mbps, 10 Mbps, anytime, anywhere, or even high speed possible. Mr. Wang, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.